Hello, what's up YouTube Bronis with Anatra and this tutorial I'll show you guys how we can color grade and get that nice and beautiful cinematic look in photos in Photoshop. So the image you're going to be using is taken by Leon Makapaga and I'm going to put the link in the description of this video so that you can download and follow along when you're trying to color grade this fair image at your own time or pace. So let's first of all look at this beautiful image. So the very first thing I'm going to do I'm going to first of all do the basic adjustments on this image. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply push up my shadows just like that around 70. And when I push up the shadows, you're going to notice that the image loses out on the contrast. So I'm just going to add in contrast to the image to around 16. And knock down my highlights just like that. But that is going to under expose the image so the next, the next thing i want to do is simply coming to my whites and just knock them up and turn down the blacks to add contrast to this image so this is the before and after so there's no much difference then i'm just going to pump up the exposure just like that and as you can see the image is now getting back into life so let's see the before and the after so far so the next thing i want to do i'm just going to come back to the highlights and knock them down just like that so you're going to be getting back to the basic panel later on in this tutorial so i'd like to add some little bit of clarity into this image around seven and add some vibrance to the image so that it can even pop more then i'll, I'll simply knock up the shadows even more and that is where we are right now so the next thing is going to be coming to add that kind of cinematic feel or look to the image so in order to add that cinematic feel or look we're going to come to the curves layer or adjustments and we try to add that kind of grainy or film kind of look to the image so in order to reduce on that we're just going to push up this and you can see that this is going to add some grain to the image. So basically I'm just going to make an S curve just like that. And make another point right there. And I could push it up just like that. And I'll, I'll just take this down. So don't mind if at all it is looking weird. And I could come and knock this down a little bit. So I feel like this is too much. So I'm just going to knock that down. And you can see that it is adding that nice and cinematic feel or look to the image. So I feel like my curve is too steep. So like I said, we're going to come back up here and simply knock up the exposure. And we have added that kind of grainy feel or look to the image. So after doing that, the next thing is going to be color grading the image under the hue saturation and luminance panel in the camera filter and if at all you have lightroom you can as well opt for this so our very first target is going to be as uh, the blues because we just want to make the blues have that kind of teal look because the orange and teal look usually has that nice and attractive color to the eyes you're just going to come to the blues right here and we hue the blues towards the aqua side so if at all i take this towards this side it is going to be making the blues kind of a little bit aqua in color so just going to push it like that and you can see that the image is now getting to look beautiful and now the next thing i want to do is coming to add the reds because i feel like this is a little bit distracting so i want to push the reds towards the oranges so i'm just going to push this towards the orange side or the orange color just like that and you can see that this blends in the image even more and we have that kind of orange and teal look so let's see the before and the after so the next thing i want to do or i would love to do for this image is coming under the oranges and i would prefer to knock them towards the yellows just like that to have that nice and golden skin tone for this model so after that the next thing is going to be a saturation option and under saturation i would love to 
I play around with the oranges and I could knock down the oranges slightly because I feel like the oranges were too strong so just going to knock down the oranges to around negative 11 or negative 12 then I would simply turn the luminous remember luminous is more of the lightness or darkness of a given color so I'm just going to knock up the luminous to around 8 then after doing all that the next thing is going to be uh, the split toning option so split toning we can add a given fill or mode to a given image so in order to do that I'm going to first of all turn up the saturation so that you can see this in real time because after applying the fill or filter on top of the overall image we can come and adjust that later on so you're going to start moving and this this actually depends on the look you're trying to go in for so I'm just going to move this up to a point when I feel like I have the best look for this image so you can, you can as well add any color depending on the look you're trying to go in for so I'm just going to leave this at around 105 and knock down the saturation then I'm going to do the same for the shadows so push this up to around 19 and start playing around with this up to a point when I feel like I have the best color so for this case I would prefer we go for this kind of orange look and simply knock down the saturation just like that so let's see the before and after before after then I feel like I should add some red tones to a skin tone so anything is going to be coming back to uh, the hue option and I simply turn the oranges towards the red side just like that then I feel like uh, the image is really a little bit underexposed and that is the, going to be the next step for this tutorial so we're just going to reduce on the amount of noise to around 11 then coming back to the basic slider and what you're going to do is just going to make the image pop a little bit more by adding some little bit of saturation and pumping up the exposure for this image so that it can really pop the more so I think uh, that looks fine and beautiful then I could come and knock down the highlights even more and simply come to the whites and simply brighten them up a little bit then I could reduce on the contrast of this image and add some kind of magentas to the image to around four so basically color grading is more of a test and preference then I could pump up the exp exposure rather since the image was a little bit and uh, exposed so let's see the before and after for this image so this is the image before and this is the after before after so you could add in a little bit of blacks and add some clarity just like that so i would love you guys to appreciate this very video by liking if at all you have loved or learned something new from this tutorial so let's see the overall before and after before after so you can as well go on and save this preset if at all you love it by simply coming here to save settings and here you can choose whatever you want if at all you want to save the white balance but i wouldn't recommend that you save the white balance so you can come and uncheck the white balance and even exposure and you leave the rest the way they are and simply come and hit save and you can save your preset maybe to color grade 2021 and you can easily save your preset just like that so let's see if at all we can be able to apply that preset on this image so i'm just going to come and i'm going to uh, reset this image to the default and come back here load settings and since I want to load the preset, I'm just going to come and look for uh, the preset. We named it Color Grade 2021, and this is the preset, and simply hit load. 
So you can see that uh, the image is now looking nice, but it is lacking what we unchecked uh, before. So what we unchecked was initially the exposure. So we could just turn up the exposure just like that. So that the image can even pop a little bit more. So you can see the before and after, before, after. So basically, this is all for today's story. And if I told you I've loved this video, don't forget to like it so that YouTube can push it to more people out there. Ronix from Ronix Photography, thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet more tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.